If someone offered the public $1 million to come forward with dirt about your personal life, what would they come up with? Thanks to Larry Flint's recent stunt, we might just find some skeletons in the closet of some American politicians. Reported by the AFP, Larry Flint, publisher of the best-selling U.S. porn magazine Hustler, put out full-page newspaper ads offering $1 million for information about sexual indiscretions or evidence of corruption of U.S. politicians or government officials. Flint claims that if the provided information can be verified, it'll be published in Hustler while ensuring the anonymity of the sources. The most recent ad was specifically targeted at Rick Perry, the leading Republican presidential candidate and Texas governor. The ad asks, have you had a gay or straight sexual encounter with Governor Rick Perry? Larry Flint and Hustler magazine will pay you up to $1 million if we choose to publish your verified story and use your material. Flint is not a fan of Perry, who opposes same-sex marriage and skews more conservative on social issues. Flint also set out the same type of bounty for other government officials he dislikes. In fact, Robert Livingston resigned as U.S. House Speaker after Flint uncovered evidence of his extramarital affairs. Let's now hear from microbloggers for some of their opinions. First, we have Xin Zhangde. Such tactics should be imported to China. In China, rich people get richer while the poor get poorer. Hopefully, Chinese magazines can learn from this, thereby investigating more corrupt officials. Now Chinese officials are smoking luxurious cigarettes, drinking imported wines, driving brand-name cars, and living in villas. And what's the reason? You tell me. In America, even the corruption of officials can be used as business trickery. So being a corrupt official in the U.S. is way too troublesome. The U.S. media and magazines are awesome. Under surveillance by such media, how can developments of its society not come first? When will China become like this? I recommend Hustler to draw such materials in China, and I believe the masses would love to provide such evidence for free. Only can a country with freedom of press do this. In China, no media can expose officials' dirty deeds openly, unless the chief editor or the person in charge is ready to lose their job. That's right. If Larry Flint did this in China, he would not only be out of a job, but he'd most likely be detained. However, China does have a system for exposing corruption. Both the central and local government, as well as the disciplinary commission of the Chinese Communist Party, have set up anti-corruption whistleblowing hotlines and websites. According to China.com.cn, by 2008, more than 70 percent of criminal offenses committed by government officials have been prosecuted based on whistleblowing tips. As of 2011, more than 50 percent of the prosecution of Tianjin and Guizhou government officials were based on this method as well. When tips are proven to be true and a conviction is obtained, the tipper is rewarded in both spiritual and material honors. The problem is the whistleblower's identities have not been strictly protected and many have been retaliated against, with methods ranging from demotion, detention, to even assassination. Because of the consequences, these so-called whistleblowing hotlines